Hello Eddie. Um, this is Colin, uh, the guy with the problem with the printer. Um, I'm going to be sending you this uh, via email as a reply to your email. Uh, but I thought I'd make a little video so that you can hear what I'm saying. I'm going to print this again in a minute but I'm just going to show you. I've just printed it out after cleaning the head and going through your um, um, system of setting up the printer. Okay, and now this is going to be hard because I like the clear ones and I don't have a lot of ink actually. So I'm going to cut this off. Um, but you can just see there, you should be able to see that it's it's all broken and I've had obviously complaints. You can't even properly read the writing. But what I'm going to do is cut this off right now and um, show you. I'm going to stick it, I've got a glass door. I'm going to stick it to the glass door and you will be able to see the problem I've got. In fact, if you look at this one, which I did already, you can see there's issues with the printing. It's not coming out solid. This one as well. Um, you know, when a company is ordering uh, quite a lot, which I need, obviously, for the, for the business, uh, I need them to have a quite a consistent quality and I'm not getting that. Excuse me one moment while I try and tear this away here. I, want, I don't want to break the recording just so that you can see what I'm doing is legitimate. You know I actually like the idea. So now I'm sticking the dog on here okay and you've just seen that I'm sticking the sticker I mean the dog sticker. Okay now you can see uh, the quality it's just not acceptable. You have to make out what it is actually saying. Some of the warning stickers I printed, which were like camera in operation in this area, uh, on the red one, I'm going to be ordering some more, um, more of the foil and more of the the vinyl. Um, but I've seen I need to get it right and the more I spend I see I need to make the money back and that's what my problem is and if you look over at my fridge I've been practicing let's look down at these pores these pores they are solid not broken in fact those ones didn't come out too bad and then we look up here we look at the bull, I did have an order for them from a shop in Spain and now they've cancelled the order until I can solve the issue and that's my main thing. If we look up here, you can see there's quite a lot of broken and it's, it seems to be a lot near the edge. These came out not too bad, um, so I wasn't too disappointed with those. I've actually thrown away a lot. Anyway, here we go again. I'm going to print this out and um, what we do is file you can tell me if I'm doing something wrong obviously uh, go to print I'm going to go to properties um, I'm going to make the speed uh, 25 the darkness 10 okay um, so we okay that we've got the sizes right plus one millimeter as you told me before um, we've got the option as continuous so I'll click OK uh, and then we click print and there we go and you can see the dog's head should be on it but I can adjust that, I can live with that but the quality is the problem so we go back around here uh, just feed it a bit and this time the dog's head is actually there um, but again we're having the issue where the quality I'm not sure if you can see that but the quality isn't coming out um, in an acceptable level. So we're going to stick this one up and we'll put it up on the other one. Okay. Stick it below that one and you'll see exactly what I mean. And you can see there we've got lots of scuffing it seems. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is because I don't know enough about it but what I do know is that I need people to be able to read clearly what is going on in the message <laughs> because just because of my own customers complaining you know that it's not of a high enough quality now I can sit here and print out all day and it will, it will come out differently this is the average like that one I can fiddle about with the 
settings. So, uh, for example, if I go, um, let me just reduce this a tad so that it goes away a bit from the edge. Okay, and I don't want to be unreasonable and I'm not trying to be, I just want you to see the problem that I've got. Um, okay, I'm moving them away from the edge, so now we're not going to have such a bad effect around the edges. Although I would like to be able to print to the edge, and that's why I thought uh, from reading the material that I could do. But anyway, so let's get back to, I'm, most of the things I'm printing at the moment are going to be for the, the uh, windows of cars. And I've got a car company who's interested, but I'm not going to go to them until I know I've got an acceptable level of quality. So here we go, we're going to go file print, and I'm going to go back into the properties again. And I'm going to change that to 50 instead of 25 and maybe make the darkness 11. I don't know if that will work. Maybe it will improve it. I've tried all these things a lot of times and I haven't had any success. So here we go again. Let's print. We'll go around here. Quality that's coming out. Feed it through. Where did I put my scissors? Over there. Grab the scissors. Cut that off. Okay, peel it back, stick it on the window. I'm going to stick it below the other one. And uh, we're going to see what the quality is like together. Maybe it'll be fantastic. That's what I hope. Uh, I'm trying to peel it off. Mm -hmm. Failing, trying and failing. There we go. Okay, right. And Put that one underneath. Okay, now you can see we've got three in a row. Oops, nearly tripped over there. Um, and again, you can see we've got the scuffing. Okay, so um, it has improved, but it's still not a quality that I can send out which is acceptable to the customer. Um, and that seems to be my problem. So I'm going to email this and that um, that file from Serif, um, and uh, also a couple of pictures of this, and then you'll you'll know what the well, hopefully you'll know because you're the expert. Okay, thank you very much. I do appreciate your kind help.